I, I'm not. And speaking of Samoans, and this is the perfect segue. Speaking of Samoans, it was also reported by, I believe, Wrestle Votes that Roman Reigns will be slated to return for this year's SummerSlam. The aura is back. The OG is back. Do you feel like this is a good move? Should Roman come back so soon? Or do you think that they, there needs to be some time so that the, the this new bloodline can, you know, have some accomplishments under their belt? What accomplishments? They can't <laughs> even make third team. Third team is With great. With this squad, bro, they for sure the Charlotte Hornets right now. Oh and I don't God. even know if they got a little well, LaMelo. I can't even say Jacob is LaMelo because LaMelo is a cold player, but damn. I don't know who to say they are right now. A bad team with a great player. It ain't too many in today's NBA. But I will say, yeah, my tribal chief needs to come back. Uh, but if he want to take months off, he can do that. Obviously, he just found a movie. He lost his spots, which is more important. But if he feel like he's ready to come back, he is. He going to be on the same type of schedule he's been on the past couple of years. So, and. It may change. Like, that's like a five month break from TV. I think that's good enough. Mm-hmm. And then the story. And then if they do this, if he is coming back next month, they probably like, you know, we kind of run out of ideas with this current bloodline joint. So he might want to come back because this solo thing ain't really working out like we probably thought it would. Mm. But <clears throat> if, see, if it was me, I'm biased. Because again, most of them, I don't know. I think uh, the Tonga brothers, they from actual the island. I think they actually from the island of Tanya. But I received Solo, and then it goes without saying with Jacob, because, hell, he is Cali on a thousand from the way he talk and the way he act. But if it was up to me, because I am biased, and Jacob is my guy, i make him the tribal chief tomorrow and then have him and Roman Reigns have a program, which may happen. We don't know what's going to happen. They might right. actually switch up and do that, because, yeah, little by little in the past couple of weeks, like, Oh, this Jacob Fatu dude is the real deal. And I'm like, yeah, I've been saying it for years. So, you know, Roman come back. He come back, but he got to get. We we know the Usos got to get back to right. So it's yeah. like you got a month to make that story. You got to do something I, with that because it can't just be him by himself coming back. Literally, that's the reason why I was saying they should have some time. Like when I say they should have some time to get some accomplishments under their belt, I'm not saying that they are accomplished already. I'm saying like give. Give God the tag titles for a little bit, right? Give Jacob a mic, you know, a U.S. or an Intercontinental title for a little bit. Reason being is because because of the bloodlines run. You think about it like this: Roman was the longest reigning champion of the modern era. The Usos became the longest reigning tag team champions ever, right? And then Solo tagged along, and even Solo was a North American champion. Sammy. Ended up being a tag team champion and an intercontinental champion after that. Paul Heyman became a Hall of Famer. When you look at the the bloodline that was before it folded, it was arguably one of the most accomplished and decorated factions of all time. Which means that if you wanted to pit this new bloodline against the old bloodline and and it has some meaning, I feel like they need gold too. They need titles too. So that's the reason why I was like, give them a little bit more time. And that way... They can collect their gold. Jay could do his singles run. Roman could take off the time that he needs. Jimmy could heal up. And by the time it's time to butt heads, right, by the time that it's time to butt heads, it's like you don't even know who's going to win because, yes, Roman and the Usos and, 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 and Sammy have had this run, but this new bloodline has a run too. And it may be dominant or just like – it may be more dominant or just as dominant as the old ones. So that's that's like my take. But, you know, but I am glad that Roman is is coming back. Because, man, once again, like you don't know what you have until it's gone. And Roman was the guy. Roman was the guy. He was everything that he said he was and more. Hey, Cody, like you're mad, man. As soon as they put that <laughs> title on Cody, I told people I tapped out of wrestling. I'm just yeah. now coming back because... Of the Dominic and Liv storyline and Jacob Fought too. Otherwise, and you know, the stuff that Jay does. Yeah. Otherwise, than that dog, it ain't the same. I it's keep not. trying to tell y'all, it ain't the same. But I feel like people, but once again, the whole point of a heel being a heel, and part of the reason why heel runs are so interesting is because you, they say all this stuff, and then after the fact, you realize it was true. Roman was everything that he said that he was. But I want to know how everybody else feels. Should Roman Reigns return at SummerSlam 
let us know in the comments below. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the Culture 316 podcast. If you like what you saw, I'm going to do that again. Ready? Three, two. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching the Culture 316 podcast. If you liked what you saw, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that you guys can stay up to date with all upcoming videos and events pertaining to Culture 316.